Hello, my friends. Welcome to another exciting episode in our Corridor Design Flyer series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a flyer or a poster like this inside of CorelDRAW. If you've not gotten your Smart Designer Premium assets, you can click the link in the description of this video to get the background, the text effect, and also template flyers for free. And you can also get your CorelDRAW flyer templates in the link in the description of this video your club flyers also are included in that package that you have there so you don't want to miss it if you've not subscribed what are you waiting for hit the subscribe button and without having to say much let's get started so the first thing i'm going to do here is click on file and um, click on new and i'm going to set this uh so it's going to be four by five inches please rgb and i'm just going to give it a name here of course game day flyer like this and resolution 300 click ok so you are greeted with this page like this right so double click to create a rectangle fill it with black with white and remove the outline or if yours doesn't work like that this is what you do create a rectangle like this come up here and change it to 4x5 while it's still selected and click enter then press p on your keyboard to centralize the page fill it with white and remove the outline very easy so this is what you created so moving on, let's let's um, get things rolling. Click on the rectangle, draw a rectangle like this. First thing we need to do, and um, what we need to do here is go over to your text tool or your type tool, type game like this. I'm going to change uh, the font that I use. I'm going to use Montserrat Black. I'm going to put it here, and of course, make it big like this. All right. So, reuse the spacing between with your shape tool. Of course, you know how to do this. If you've watched previous videos, you'll understand this. Select this and make it red. Remove the outline. Come here and click on None. Click on Game and make it white so that we have a good contrast between the two elements. All right. So, group the two of them, Ctrl G and uh, Ctrl C, Ctrl V to make a duplicate copy like this. Now you can ungroup this and um, this will have a different color. The resource file, the link to download this is in the description of the video. So you don't want to miss the description of this video for anything, right? So I'm going to make this smaller like this and um, I'm going to sample a color for this rectangle from the image. So use my eyedropper tool. I'm going to sample the darkest part here. Click once when, once you've gotten the color and apply it here like this right so with this one i'm just going to change it from game to day so it's going to be game day right so make it slightly bigger like this and put it in the middle like this and um, increase it again just a little bit and you're good to go right so uh you have game day um Ctrl C and Ctrl V to make a duplicate copy of this game. I'm just going to put this here. Most times you can zoom in closely so that you can see what you're doing. Right? Make sure you're zooming in closely. Make this bigger. Just a little bit. And um, a couple of changes that we want to apply. But before then, make sure to ungroup everything. Click on the rectangle. Or click, click, click on the game first, make it red, click on the rectangle and make it white so that we can get that same level of contrast. So I'm just going to type here it's right. Use my shape to to create space in between the letters like this, and um, I'm good to go. Place it in the middle here like this. Of course, make sure it is in the middle. Then you can select the two of them and rotate it like this right click to bring out the rotate command when you are selecting an object all right so it's going to be it's uh, make this smaller okay somewhere around here is good so the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and duplicate this rectangle and with this or you can draw a rectangle from the scratch well, I choose to duplicate this to make my work faster. So I'm just going to come here and give it a red color. Right. I'm just going to bring this image inside here so that I can see what I'm doing in real time. 
So I know what to adjust and what to change if I'm going to change anything. Okay, so I've noticed that the image has some unwanted edges like this. So let's get rid of it before it hinders us from saving when we want to finally save. So go over to your shape tool, right? Highlight this uh, both parts. I'm going to do that again. Highlight the two parts like this and move it inside. Make sure you are not cutting the image. Highlight both part, parts like this and move it inside like this. Highlight this part here and move it inside like this. Okay. Fair enough. Um, with my text selected, you can see that I'm typing outside so that I don't complicate things. Right, so I'm going to type we are back like this. Okay. So we are back. Change the font. Uh, Montserrat black. No, I don't want to use a black font again. Let me use something lighter. So still in the same family, like I said before, if you want to download this font, it's part of the premium designer assets. So you can get yours there and um, make use of it. Okay, so I'm doing, just going to extend this. But with extending that, I have to create more space. So click on it, click on it to create more spaces like this. So it's going to be, we are back. Right? Good. Okay, for the day, Ctrl-C, Ctrl-V, make a duplicate copy of it. Right click on this white to give it an outline and click here to remove the color. So you have this effect when you do it that way. All right? So right click to add and click to remove the color. So it's left with just the outline color. That's how you get this effect done. So um, go ahead and uh, click on your rectangle to draw something that looks like this. Remove your outline and um, select your transparency from white to black so that you have something like this. What you want to do is go over to bitmap, convert to bitmap, click OK. And what you want to do is click here and click on the first option here. What you want to do again is take this outside, ungroup this, right? You can see it's ungrouped now. Now click on this, right click on it and click on power clip. We are keeping it inside here. So click on edit, select it and move it to the desired position you want. Somewhere here is nice and good. Highly recommended. So this is how you create this effect here, right? You can watch my previous videos on how I created this kind of effects inside of the flyers, right? Great. So I'm going to position the logo there. And um, if you cannot use drag and draw, please use the import command right very important okay guys the next thing i'm going to do is click on the rectangle here i'm just going to draw a rectangle outside you don't need to be perfect with this click on the red and make sure you remove the outline by right clicking here click on transparency from white to black like this and uh, make a duplicate copy of this before that, click on power clip and power clip it inside the rectangle like this. Edit it and uh, you want to put this here. Extend it. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. And flip this back and put this somewhere here like this. And take this back a bit. Click on finish. And there you go. You have this nice effect. Uh, more like a gradient half vignette effect because it doesn't go round. So, yes, this is how I was able to create this effect. Guys, if there's any parts you're not getting, make sure you pause, play, rewind. It helps you learn better. And make sure you're watching, you're practicing at the same time. So, pause and play method is the best way to learn. Alright? So, I'm just going to apply a drop shadow here. And increase this. And also increase the feather like this and you're good to go you can see how easy and how fast this is right okay guys if you've liked this video please do not forget to give it a thumbs up a like so that youtube will recommend this video to people like you that need this video right if you enjoyed it make sure you share make sure you post repost and of course make sure you watch the next video just up ahead here i'll see you 
in the next video.